welcome along and welcome back to Silverun Forest. Today we are headed up to the sawmill. We've got a whole load of long wooden planks uh, that we can go and uh, get converted into pepper pots and uh, bowls and get them sold and keep that running because that factory has run out. Yeah, our wood turner is in need of uh, of resupply uh so we're going to be doing that today um i also need to uh look at a couple of other bits and pieces we really really want to hit but well, if we hit seventy thousand, uh there is another job we can do we can get the uh one of our factories bought so i think we're going to be looking at doing that today hopefully uh if we can get this turned around now that factory will be uh, the shingles factory, so that's that's the first one I'm targeting. That is worth a hundred and uh, sorry, that's worth seventy thousand. So we're nine thousand shy of that. Uh, so we should be able to get that with any luck. I'd like to park over here because it's fairly flat over this area. Um, so yeah, we can do that today. Uh, we should be. We get the back out. Uh, we should be able to do all that. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer before we sell stuff from here. I mean, we've got a lot of uh, wooden planks, uh, but we have lots of space more to do those. We are almost full on the wooden beams. And actually, I'd like to go and drop one of these off down at the shipyard. So we'll probably load one of these up and drop it down the shipyard. And because it's still asking for metal be uh, for wooden beams, even though we, we don't have any, um uh even though it's it's saying zero and yes we have nine lots of the long wooden planks here that we can load up so uh we want to get those done uh we are all detached let's head out in our little jcb then and go and get this uh collected up i'm still thinking well i, I still think it'd be a good idea to have something like this down here uh, we don't have anything in the shop today that would work for that. Well, we do. We have a Torion, but it's 60,000. And yeah, I don't want to get a third wheel loader on here, really. I think uh, two with with very different functions uh, is probably enough. I think a smaller version of, uh, of one that we already have is probably not something I'm aiming for. So, uh, yeah plan here is we don't need any more of it. well i don't know if we need any of these actually to construct any of the stuff that we're going to be doing when we have the factories going soon uh i have no idea what we need to put into the factories but we can't do anything until we make some money and the whole idea of putting stuff into here really was or putting output from here was so that we just had a whole load of stuff to sell on a train we know that we can turn around and cut a load of trees from our tree farm and end up with a, uh, a, a, a good amount of wood. I mean, it only takes six trees from our tree farm to fill here. And even with a whole load of stuff having been uh, produced, we've still got 11,000. So I'm thinking probably next day uh, we're going to have to refill the sawmill. Uh, so cut some more trees down and get some more wood into here uh, and, uh, and keep the process going will uh, will be really profitable for us. We want to we want to keep the money flowing at this point because we have a lot of stuff to uh, to deal with. Now, I do have one question for you guys. Uh, what do you think we should do uh, in so far as um, uh, insofar as getting some extra stuff to put into our spinnery i could very easily put a garden in and, uh, and use that to generate a load of cotton to help with the wool i think it's going to be a long while otherwise for us to uh, to actually get the wool we need to finish the the bow top from the sheep so uh, yeah i'm very intrigued as to what you guys think to that um the other thing i might do today uh, although I have nowhere to really store it, is uh, do some hay. Uh, we really want to make some hay before winter comes. I don't really want to have to buy another bale uh, in order to feed the sheep over winter and keep that functioning. 
So, uh, yeah, I think we might uh, do some haymaking today if we have time after we've uh, we've done this stuff. Uh, but, uh, yeah, what do you think? Do you think we should maybe place a garden down, get some cotton production going through that uh, to supplement our wool and help make some fabric to get the shipyard going? Because I think it is basically the final stage, pretty much that we're on, on on our ship. So, uh, uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, by the time I'm, I'm looking to make a decision on that, I think I'll be back from holiday. So, uh, yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting. We're going into the winter now anyway. So, uh, it'll probably be a springtime decision. There we go. And, uh, and getting the ship done, of course, is going to absolutely give us the money we need to finish off uh, the roller coaster and get the factories we need for that. And we don't need a lot of stuff from those factories. Um, it's basically a single, uh, a, a single pallet out of most of them. So, yeah, once we get those, uh, that is going to very quickly... Uh, complete that stage and uh and and make us a decent uh amount of money and set things up uh let's get this on top look at that yeah perfect so all of these are going down to make bowls and pepper grinders we know we are going to be outputting more of them so it's not a problem for us uh, if we're going to need these for any of our other factories. And as I said, the other factories are not going to need much material to go through them. Uh, it's just the big expense of those factories in the first place. Uh, we need to uh, get that turned off as well. There we go. Turn that off. Let's get our ramps back on. Yep, that's all good. Right time to get this delivered down to the wood turner and from there uh we'll start making money out of that because uh it's run out now bringing this up to the side of the wood turner in fact i think we want to i don't know whether we need to do the exclamation mark to unload these here but i'm guessing not i think that's just to unload wood yeah there we go all of that in delivered and we can have a look and yep so uh the pepper grinder from wood uh we need to deactivate that and from the bowls uh we can now activate this from the planks long and yeah those can then be selling from there um the nice thing is they both they all go into the same thing so uh, it's it's not like we uh, found ourselves in a bad position we got 10,091 and this will now keep giving us a nice steady income i could if i wanted sell stuff straight from our um from our sawmill as well but i find that we get to load all of this up on the train at once and make a ton of money from that. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be doing that as that builds up. For now, we're actually pretty good. So, I want to head back to our uh, camp. I think I think we want to back head back to the logging yard, and from there, uh, I think we're going to go and cut and bale some hay. Oh, we've got an accident over there. Let's go round the top way. Otherwise, we're not going to get through. But yeah, looks like a couple of cars have come to a head. The other thing I need to do uh, when we get back, actually, is you might notice the trailer is in fairly bad state of disrepair. So uh, we'll just pull this up to our workshop down here and get that fixed as well. Yeah, bring this down here, spin it around like that and it'll uh if we need to repair anything else it'll tell us so uh yeah low loader condition is pretty bad 1300 ow uh the tlx itself oh we might as well repair that while we're here too not gonna repaint how much is the repaint cost for it actually there is no repaint cost for either of them ah oh, because we can't repaint them at this workshop 
Uh, I like that. <laughs> we don't want to repair it and repaint any of our equipment, so that's fine. Uh, the other thing I want to do, because it's bugging me, uh, I need to pull these trailers out of here and rework this area here. Maybe put some gravel in. Uh, this tree can remain. This tree can come out because it absolutely is in the way. And this tree can remain. Um, but yeah, we need to we need to do something about the ground around here today as well. So we'll see if we can do that as well. Let's get the skid steer off first. So out with our ramps. Uh, un Oop, no, I want to unstrap the skid steer first. There we go. Let's take the straps off that our long planks were on as well. And then start her up, and out they go. Perfect. That is great. And our little skid steer is actually more used for uh, carting stuff about now than anything else. I'm kind of tempted to permanently put it on. Uh, the other bit. Oh, we actually have some seeds left over from when we did the grass. So if we did do cotton on here uh, in the uh, in the garden, then we already have a uh, a ready made set of seeds. All we need to do is get the seeds uh, is get some fertilizer um, in order to do that and get that set up. Right, let's park this here. It's a little bit in my way for what I want to do, but I'm going to go and sort this area of the yard first. So, undo you. There we go. Pull that out. Swing us around, and we'll pull the other two trailers out as well. Uh, we do need as well to pop up to the mine and grab some more, of, uh, some more iron ore. There's so much I need to do at the moment. Uh, I think that's probably going to be something we do in December. Get some more trees cut next time, and then we'll have a trip up to the mine in December and see if we can't uh, go and grab some more uh, iron ore to keep our iron ore uh, going. We're probably going to need some iron ore, actually, uh, some iron, some some metal rolls for the barrel factory when we come to do that in the near future so i'm expecting us to be using more of our productions in various places around here going forwards right there we go let's turn that off and so this area here is where i want to clear up we're probably going to end up using that stump grinder in a moment to get rid of this tree um, shall we just use that in general? Because this is also a cultivator. So, start this up. Turn out. Yeah, there we go. I hate how slow this goes when it's got this on the front. It does not have this issue if you have anything else attached to it. Uh, but if you've got this on the front, it just, yeah, does not work properly. Right. So, up to here. Turn it on. Put it down and yeah i'm expecting this tree to be able to be got wow there we go and then we can grind the stump down right and that clears that out and we get rid of all of these bits here we might need to get rid of that stone as well, actually. I think that is... Uh, this is a wicked piece of kit. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get rid of that stone. I think that stone might be in the way for what we're doing. How is that? Oh, we'll take this tree out. There we go. Down it goes. It is so powerful. And so wicked. Right, there we are. That's cleared that area out. Now, one thing I did think was we could put another shed in here. Uh, let's turn you off. That off, that's off. Before I go and hit the wheel on my uh, other wheel loader. And get this down the back here. Um, because, yeah, we could put another shed in here, I think. Uh, very easily. I don't know if we have a cheap enough shed to put in this space. 
to put these in. What do we have in the sheds? So sheds. Just want like a cheap. Oh god, that's huge. Yeah, not that one. Um, let's see what else have we got in here. Nothing obvious. There's lots of really huge stuff. And lots of stuff that, that costs quite a bit. And that actually wouldn't fit the stuff in. Uh, that's too big. I think everything at the moment is too big for what we want. So I may have to go and find a shed, I think. Uh, the only other place that I found stuff is under other. Um, we've got a few options under here at the moment. But there's things like, uh, oh, that's a really small garage. Yeah, there's nothing else here. So uh, I think uh, we'll probably just put some gravel or something down first here. And then we can update it later and get a better setup then. So let's bring this over here. Painting. Uh, we want the gravel. We want to enlarge it and change its shape. Just give me a good area here to place these trailers on. Looks like we've got a couple of bits of wood left from that tree. Will that fit three all three of those? I think that will. So uh, I want to make that smaller and then we'll just square it off at the back there. Basically, that's the footprint we want if we put a shed down here. A shed that will cover that sort of area. Uh, which would be pretty good, I think. Yep. Um, are those little chunks of wood? That is... Ah, that's a little chunk of wood. That's a stump. So let's get this back over here and sort that out. And there we are. A nice air, new area that we can put all of our trailers in. And, uh, and store them properly. Wow, this has given me so much more room to work with for these trailers. Yeah, this is no longer a logging camp. This this is now a logging yard. Very much. We are well established in this area. And I really like it. I really like how it's, uh, it's all come together in here. And how it comes off the road. I think we might need to put a gateway in at the top just to... To pretty it up up there a little bit but everything in here i really love it i am so happy with our setup here proper homesteading setup really there we go that is our truck done so i'm going to park this in the shed and then i think it might be time to get the Kubota out and start doing a little bit of work with that it's a while since we've had this tractor out and we have never had this tractor out to do this. This is our first opportunity to, uh, to get to do some grass work. Now, one thing about this mower is this mower does not row. So uh, I'm going to have to see how much a little wind mower is. There's not one available for sale. No. So uh, wind rowers. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, we could do one of the side ones. Yeah, that would be different. And it's only 5,000. It's exact. In fact, it's exactly 5,000. Width is only 2.5 meters versus 3.4 for the Potinger. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll cut this first and then we'll go and have a look down at the shop and see what we've got. So unfold you. We'll go around the headlands first. Get those cut. Uh, are we going to have to uh, head this as well? I don't think I've got the PPO attack. Do I? do I have a tether as well? That's the next question I've got. No. So we've got a baler. Uh, we've got no tether and we've got no windrower. So we're going to have to go and buy both of those things uh, to get this grass work done. We are eating into these profits, um, but we are going to have to uh, to do that. Have I not connected my pipes up either? Nope, nothing was connected, which is interesting because uh, I'm slightly surprised it unfolded as a result. This is a very odd shaped field, uh, quite fiddly around the edges. 
to make sure that you've got the edge all the time. And trying to keep an eye on where I am over the edge versus uh, where I'm going is fun from in here. Not too bad if you're in third person, but uh, yeah, from in here, it's a little bit more finicky. Uh, it is working well. I mean, it's going to take us a little while with this mower to do this. Uh, but I think uh, we should be all right. And uh, now we're just going to turn around and we're going to start going the other way around the field until we've got the whole field cut. One thing I tend to do as I'm cutting a field like this is I will simplify uh, all of the corners and everything. So uh, it ends up becoming uh, a lot more uh, amorphous than some of the... Uh, kinks and, uh, and and sections would suggest it would be uh, you can see that in the other side where it's already beginning to straighten out and i'll straighten that out more um and on this side where this was not this straight along this edge when we started but because we're like four rows in uh it's now become a lot straighter uh similarly here i will take the most direct path to that corner and as a result, that line now becomes a lot straighter. And yeah, you can see here even where we have a massive cutting bit. I will just cut across this corner bit up here. And uh, and the whole thing just becomes so much simpler to work uh, as a result. I, uh, I like doing that. That, uh, that just simplifies everything. I, I think a lot of farmers do that in real life anyway. They'll... Uh, they'll make things a little bit more manageable in that kind of way and yeah we end up with a smaller and smaller field and we got to the stage now where we don't need to do the end bits we just come around and cut uh come down on the other side because uh it's getting too short along the end so it actually ends up being uh, more reasonable to just turn around and go the other way especially when you get to the end like this bit up here because uh, to here absolutely that is not enough to cut uh, around the end although there's a tiny tuft there which will come and get at the end but this whole field now has uh, has been cut in a fairly quick amount of time let's do that like so round and yeah we're about two to three cuts nope i think we have two cuts from the end brilliant not bad for our first cut on here we're not using precision farming so i don't know exactly uh how good the yield is but it's not bad looking at it and uh and should do us fairly well i think certainly we're gonna get a few bales off here uh which will keep our sheep fed for uh for a good little while with that done i think we need to go and get ourselves a tether yeah we don't have one here so let's reverse this in and get this parked we do have some space at the side here to park stuff as well if we need to oh no no don't do that just want to drop you off like that right Let's go down to the shop and see if we can get ourselves a tether. So into the shop and over this way. I did think that there was a shed for storing bales and things, but I can't find it in the uh, in the construction menu here at all. It's not that one. I mean, that one is way too big. Um, it's not that one. Oh, that one is actually... Wow. Uh, 152,000. That might be perfect for our trucks. But, um, yeah, nothing. I'm sure there was like a little carport. Uh, it's like the, it's, it's the one that we actually have on, uh, uh, on Spruce Mountain. But I can't find it anywhere. And it's not in the decoration, unfortunately. So maybe it's more of a base game thing or something that's included in other maps. Um, uh, what we need here, however, is a tether. A uh, little potinger is 7,000. I think we'll go with this. I'm going to lease it. We're trying to keep the costs down at the moment because we're saving up money. 
So, yeah, we'll lease that. Pretty much anything new I'm leasing at the moment. Uh, we'll probably do the same with a... Uh, when we come to get a windrower as well. Get that leased too. So, onto there. And that's the... Uh, yeah, this is the little pot, uh, potting at Alpine one. Which I, uh, I really quite like. Great little uh, Ted of this one. I think for next time I might try and download some of the shed options and uh, and see what we've got and see what we can put in. Certainly we need uh, something to store the bales in. Uh, something just really close to the sheep would be good. Uh, let's pull in and unfold. And yeah, we, we need to do that. Uh, I think we need something for our trailers as well would be good. And uh, and go from there. This, yeah, we are heading nicely. Uh, great little piece of kit. Uh, just what we needed. Again, as I'm going around the field here, I'm sort of simplifying the edges a little bit. Uh, making sure that uh, where I'm going is is fairly well covered but at the same time allows me to easily get around all the corners and everything and uh yeah we've got a decent amount of hay up here uh, we are losing light though it is uh five to three in the afternoon uh we've still got the wind rowing to do and uh and the bailing if we want to get this done today and uh, ideally, I'd like to get this done today because I'd like to get the uh, get this grass rolled as well. Um, but with three jobs to do, I think that that's going to be pushing it a bit. So uh, we'll see how far we get. Uh, we'll see how far we do. We kind of need to roll it in order to uh, fully fertilize it for the next cut. Although we are away off the next cut, I don't think we're going to need to cut for a while. So uh, it may just be a case of, right, we'll move to the next day. Uh, we'll get this uh, bailed and uh, unrolled next day, having uh, done everything else today. Um, but we've also got a fairly busy day next day anyway. We do need to uh, fill up the iron ore, as I said. Uh, we also need to probably sell off a whole load of stuff. And if we can, not only will we get, uh, I think we're going to get the the shingle factory today. We are less than £2,000 from it. Uh, I think we will probably end up with a sell-off uh, getting one of the other factories and getting ourselves even closer. Um, I One question that probably is coming up and is... is uh, guys are probably thinking of is why don't I sell one of my existing factories uh, for example the floorboarding factory that we don't seem to be using at the moment uh, the answer to that is because I don't know if floorboards are something that's required for any more stages that we're working on uh, I also don't know if we might build another ship and we definitely need floorboards for that so uh, yeah there are multiple reasons for holding on to that uh, similarly with the wood turner, I don't know if there's any need for staircase railings. And in actual fact, it is giving us money at the moment because uh, we put the long planks in there and uh, and it's producing money that way. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's all good. And uh, that's why I want to hold on to that. So we'll just keep purchasing the uh, the stuff around town, the, uh, the productions around town, and eventually we should have all the ones we need in order to uh, complete the job that we're here to do which is building the roller coaster and uh, by that point we should also have a really good income from everywhere because we can cut trees every day deliver them to factories and immediately sell the products for example barrels from the barrel factory uh, we've got f all sorts of furniture we'll be able to sell from the furniture factory yeah, it's uh, it's going to be wild because we are going to make a whole load of money uh, from stuff. And um, turn you off. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and uh, and as a result, we're, we're just going to... Well, at that point, we're going to be completely self-sufficient and uh, in a position where 
we've pretty much done everything we can on here because after that it's just a case of expanding expanding and expanding right let's get ourselves a wind rower then park it up here into the shop check that nothing's come into here nope it hasn't so uh we want wind rowers and yeah i'm just gonna go for this little potinger uh it's only gonna cost us 359 per day so that's perfect uh we can just have that hanging around uh doesn't tax our little kubota m6 much this uh, it's it's got plenty of power to uh to run something like this and yeah we are just 200 uh, 2000 pounds shy of the uh of getting that in fact nope we've gone over to 1600 we are now six uh 599 pounds shy of uh getting the uh of getting the shingle factory uh which is fantastic so uh homeward bound we go i think in the next hour at uh, five o'clock we are gonna have the money to get that purchased uh which is great that means the next time we can supply that with some materials and uh and get the shingles going we only need one pallet of shingles in order to uh meet what's needed down at the uh down at the roller coaster so hell if we could get whatever's needed in there down there tonight uh then tomorrow we would uh we'd be able to get that out we're back to the logging yard and back to our field i think if we yeah no unfold that yeah we want to be going around this way first uh pushing the grass in or pushing the hay into the field so turn it on drop it down and away we go and yeah this will uh, this will draw it all in and then we can go around the second time and uh make a uh, full row out of that uh, which will be yeah very useful oh wow yeah the edge of this field so very fiddly but then uh, i made it that way on 5 p.m the shadows are getting long the day is coming to an end but we have hit 70,000 for our uh for our pot so uh that's really good i'm very very happy about that now i could do the shingle factory right now but i'm kind of thinking we have a whole load of stuff that's gonna sell overnight and and do overnight we'll we'll make more money overnight so uh i might save up and see whether we can afford one of the other ones uh tomorrow and go from there but certainly we're in a position where i'm expecting uh we can buy at least one of the new productions uh we are gonna sell a whole load of product uh next time and uh, i think we will end up uh getting one or two of the productions and go from there uh which will be fantastic i mean that is you know if we get the shingles and something else that would be even better so that's what we're going to try and do uh we are still doing this rowing up though so um we're going to be doing this for a little while longer not too long to go but it is getting dark as i said so uh, i think i'm gonna leave this here i'll get this done uh before we finish today uh but i'm gonna leave this here and we will pick this up next day uh we will get this all uh bailed up and uh and ready to sort our sheep out over the winter for now though all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye